This project is really premised uh, on the challenges that we are undergoing through. We have challenges of climate change, challenges of land degradation and biodiversity loss. And we have commitments that Kenya has made as a country in order to address these challenges. For example, Kenya committed to restoring 5.1 million hectares of land and also reduce uh, greenhouse gas emissions by 33, 32% by 2030. Uh, Kenya as a country has also committed to attaining the 10% tree cover uh, by 2022. In view of this, we have, like in the restoration place, many players, you know, to meet these targets. But one of the challenge with this is that their um, efforts are not well coordinated. I think one of the problems with uh, our region, like many ASAL uh, counties, uh, is that because of population pressure, uh, there's been a lot of subdivision uh, of, 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 of land. Uh, because of poor agricultural practices, a lot of uh, soil erosion, uh, the formation of uh, very many gullies, uh, over grazing, also due to over grazing, and uh, many aspects uh, of poor land management. And uh, that is why, as a county, uh, we thought that one of the uh, things to focus on is land uh, restoration. Uh, and therefore, the main, op main aim of the project is actually to uh, develop this uh, monitoring framework and through a technical, national technical working group, and at the same time, uh, promote gender transformative and context appropriate restoration options. At the same time, you know, promote knowledge products that would enable their scaling. Mimi ni mkulima. Ni mkulima wa specially mambo ya nyasi pasta. Mambo ya miti na kilimo ya kawaida. Kwa shamba yangu nafanya malim, na napanda mahindi, cowpeas na beans. Sana sana hiki bosi east yetu ni moto zaidi ya sehemu zingine. Ni moto Mbeleni ilikuwa ni na tunalima hii kilimo ya kawaida ya kupanda chakula lakini baadaye tukaongea na familia kwa sababu siku hizi siku hizi biashara siku hizi ni kilimo ni biashara shamba yangu haiko inafanya vizuri lakini wakati ulikuja tukahimizwa mambo ya ukulima ikaanza kufanya vizuri kwa hivyo tunatoa mazao kulingana na when we use the planting basins, we are able to ensure increased crop yields. You can see significant change between the growth of, of not only the mangoes, for instance, but also the maize, and are planted under the basins and outside the basins. <laughs> na mchanga imeshikana vizuri na maji ikiingia maji inashikilia hiyo mchanga inashikilia maji siende mbali na mmea inakuwa vizuri sababu kwa ndani unakuwa na mtiyevu inasaidia ile mmea kutoa nilikuwa natumia kilimo tu ile ya traditional lakini sasa kupitia hii hii ma training kwanza niseme ninaona mabandiliko yakiendelea na kukua shauri ya ile cross pollination ni planting the technology ya ya hii water wa hii rain water collection eh. kupitia hii manzai piti na hata tukihubiri huku kwa wenye wa mamekutano tunahimiza watu ni watoko ni hiyo traditional wa change na wakati si ati ilikuwa rahisi kuelewa ku, na umuhimu wa kutoka kwa chakula to 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 anga to ende kulima kilimo cha nyasi kwa sababu mara nyingi unasikia watu wakiolezea sasa wewe unapanda nyasi nyasi na ikuliwi si chakula unapanda nyasi ya nini 
wewe pengine umerokwa gender and social inclusion is critical uh, we have realized that different restoration options are taken up by different people for different purposes an option like planting basins it may be limiting for a farmer who has a, a male i mean a female farmer who doesn't have the muscle to do that whereas planting grass or planting uh, fruit trees may be an easier option for that wakati tulianza hii project tulifanya experiment mimi na bibi kampatia kashamba kadogo alime chakula na mimi nikakuwa kwa hiyo 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 ya nyasi and at the end of the day eh hey, tukakubaliana kweli tupande tupande nyasi kilimo ya nyasi inatulipa tena vizuri saidi tunatumia gharama kidogo na tunavuna biashara kubwa ikra tu alitusaidia mambo ya kuzuia kuzuia mchanga usibebwe na maji tulipata mafunzo ya gambians na zaipit na zile sagged beds ndio tuka improve mazao yetu tulifundishwa kuchimba mitaro na kujua ile kulima vizuri si kulima ati kama shamba yako inaenda across unaanza kulima ikienda na juu unafanya hiyo maji iteremke ibebe mchanga yote kwa hivyo kama inaenda inapanda iko na mlima tunalima hivi across cha kujua ni kuambatana tu na hii hii new technology ambayo imekuja kuhusu kulima pia ni lazima utumie mbolea na sana sana hii area ya huku kwetu yenyewe mjanga si very poor nature based solution is like uh offering a suit or a range of actions which harness the nature ours is to learn from nature and to harness the capabilities in terms of processes and practices and bring them so that we incorporate them in our restoration processes most of makweni we have um, grasslands that is one of the predominant vegetation and livestock is an important component to them so we work with these farmers to look at what are the options that mimic your nature you know the natural environment and that's why grass improved grass as one of the uh, options that is being taken up by farmers because it takes up easily these are grasslands they have livestock and they are for sale of of uh, grass seeds is actually one of the income generating activities for them season wakati kombaya ninafuna kilo hii mambo ya nyasi kilo kama 50 hivi na ninaiweka value addition ina pack kwa small packets kilo moja inanipatia ina 1400 kilimo yangu inanilipa mtu akiwa na ameona hiyo jambo inaanza kufanywa kwake ikiwa ni zaipit ananiitaa kwake naenda na muonyesha formula vile inashimbwa kupitia the formula it is hiyo ninawafunza yani wananiita naenda kusimamilia wafanye kazi hapo ninapata kitu kidogo Makweni county also has an important resource the sand in Makweni when we um, conserve sand it's also another aspect of um, climate adaptation because then we 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 conserve water at the same time it actually acts like a sponge it has been achieved through construction of sand dams inside that sand is basically a sea of water then from there we can distribute it on either sides of the river treat it and it's good for the people to utilize the more land we are able to make available uh you know the better overall for all of us and for our economy and for our livelihoods it is important to have gender component in landscape restoration this should be gender inclusive so that we can have equal participation of women youth and 
men at all levels. That makes it sustainable and there is also buy-in, you know, and there is equality. You reduce conflicts in households. So as we go forward, that is one of the most important lessons.